Because it's terribly tight and you yeah. didn't notice at the time. No. If, if Gary does come up, you must yeah. make sure that I'm here. I'm only here once or twice a week. Yes, yeah, so we, we, we'd, we'd let place, you know. We can do it through depth. Uh, Mike, you were Eric's driver, I believe. I was Eric's driver, yes. Um, I had a, um, a car hire business in Harpingham where Eric lived at that time. And uh, we had a contract to take Eric from the BBC backwards and forwards to the studios after his heart attack in 1969. And after that, he came to me and asked if I'd like a full time job as his chauffeur. Mm -hmm. So uh, I thought, well, we've got a nice little business going in Harpenden. We started off with two cars and ended up with seven or eight cars. What do I do? It's a difficult decision. So after 10 seconds, I said, yes, please, I'll take the job. And from then on, I was uh, Eric Morecambe's chauffeur um, right up until he died in 1984. What kind of cars did you drive then? At the time I joined him, we had a, um, a Jensen Interceptor. That car has now been found... Um, somebody did some research on a car they bought, an old scrap car, and found out it belonged to Eric Morecambe. So decided to restore the car. It is now um, in beautiful condition, I hear. I've not seen it yet, but it's coming up to Morecambe on the 5th and 6th of September for the Vintage Festival. Right. So that would be great to see it. Uh, then he bought a, a silver a Rolls Royce, 1971. That is now in Carnforth and owned by Peter Yates, MBE. And he did the same thing. He bought it in a scrap yard, good, terrible condition, did it up, cost him an awful lot of money, but it's a beautiful car and it rides exactly as it did in 1971. And what was Eric like as a passenger then? Oh, he was great. Oh, Cra what you saw was what you got with Eric. He's cracking jokes all the time? Well, Eric didn't crack jokes. He, right. he wasn't a joke man, but very quick-witted. Um, if somebody was talking, he'd always get an answer for whatever they said. He'd always, always quick witted. And very often he'd come out with something when we were driving, and it'd take me a good five minutes afterwards to get what he was talking about because he was so quick. You know. And uh, did you take him down to watch Luton play? Oh, yeah, very often. Uh. Yeah, we, it was a funny story that was. Um, he, didn't, he couldn't decide which football team to support. And he said, Right, we'll go out the driveway. Okay. If we turn left, we go to Watford. If we turn right, we go to Luton. And we tossed a coin and we went right. So we ended up in Luton. And in, in the end, he turned out to be uh, Luton's president. So Mike, good. could talk to you all day. Yeah. Thanks very much. Okay, it's a pleasure.